In this video, we're going to go over adding lighting into a lawn. So lighting is actually very simple in a lawn. A lot of our manufacturers, once we've added in the lighting panel at a press of a button, it will crawl it and it will populate with all of the lighting loads that it found, whether it's Lutron, Vantage, um, some Z-Wave options. The way that we do lighting is pretty much the same across all interfaces. So we're going to look at the lighting tab here in the configurator. We're going to go down to our lighting interfaces. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the type of lighting that we're integrating with. You can see that we support everything from Lutron, everything from Vantage, a couple older ones, uh, Powerline, the list goes on and on. But what we're focusing on in this video today is some Z-Wave lighting. So as you can see with Z-Wave lighting, we're not going to need to add a lighting interface. We've already added the communication device for Z-Wave Lighting and we've enrolled all of our light switches and they've all populated here in this list. So now from this point, basically what we have to do is we have to create a user interface for the end user, something that's intuitive. So something that we released a couple builds ago is our lighting locations, where now instead of building pages, we're going down on each lighting load and we're defining the location that that lighting load resides in. And we're going to we're going to take a deep dive into this right now so as you can see we've got our lighting device controller added here are our lighting loads you've even got a shade load in there as well and something that's new here is this location tab so if we go to location and we hit this box to the right here we are defining an area now by default this will be completely empty so there'll be nothing in building nothing in level nothing in area so we'd hit plus and we'd add the building here. I added the Smith house and now we're going deep down a level and adding a level first floor, second floor, and then per level. Now we can add areas and these areas are really what comes into key when we're building our lighting architecture. So first floor, we've got kitchen, living room, master bed, second floor. Let me add guest bed. And we're basically just defining the building, the levels, and the areas. You don't have to do first floor, second floor. You can do, you know, north wing, south wing. However you parse this up is completely up to you. But once we've got our levels and our areas configured, then we can go back into our lighting list. And whether it's only two lighting loads or 250 lighting loads, uh, this is all configured the same way. So I go through my kitchen lighting load, my location. Now I can say none, second floor. I can, okay, it's in the kitchen. Assign that to the kitchen. Master bedroom, I'm going to assign that to master bedroom. So on and so forth. So we're assigning a location to every lighting load, but then we've also got some other options where device classification. Is this a light or is this a shade? You know, traditionally we'd have to have a separate page specifically for shades. Now, if there's a location, let's say the theater is defined as, a, as an area in our location-based lighting. If I have four lighting loads and a shade, as long as this shade is defined appropriately, you will be able to control both lights and shades of that specific area within the same GUI. You don't have to tab out. It's all right there in front of you.